Hello everybody, my name is Bear and welcome to Convoy. It's a brand new game by Convoy Games, so you know their heart's in the right place with this one. It's an indie uh, action-adventure strategy game in a very similar vein to FTL. Even the menu here, you can kind of tell, has some FTL vibes to it, and they wear their inspirations on their sleeve with this one. Mad Max and FTL comparisons will, uh, will be abundant as we play through this one here. I'm gonna start off with a new game, I'm gonna show you guys what this one is all about. It's, uh... It's got its own style to it. I don't want to, like, call it an FTL clone right out of the gate, because it's not. It's got its own merits, and, you know, what the hour or so I've experienced with it, I'm enjoying it quite a bit, and I figured, you know what, this is probably a, a good one for a new series, so let's do it. Starting off with uh, plain and simple stuff here, you actually have to complete some objectives to unlock some of this new content. For example, killing an enemy without taking any damage to unlock a new unit. Uh, and then your MCV changes based, or you can change that based on accomplishing some much loftier goals. The MCV is your main vehicle here. I don't actually know what that acronym stands for. I'm sure one of you guys can enlighten me on that. And then your other units are the ones that you actually control. I'm gonna go ahead and start on easy as well, because in a very similar vein to FTL, easy is basically normal, normal is hard, and hard is, oh my god, you're absolutely insane, why are you playing this difficulty level? Let's go ahead and start. So here we have our introductory screen, the Welcome to Convoy, and we'll go ahead and read the story here for you. After enduring an unexpected solar flare, your spaceship was forced to make emergency landing on the planet Omec Prime due to critical damage to its primary systems. The captain has ordered you to traverse the planet in search of replacement parts. Obtaining these will allow the spaceship to continue its mission. The captain wants you to collect the following parts and bring them to the spaceship. A compression coil, a multicellulose infused ethanol, blue, ni blue R998X chip, and sonic screws. Omic Prime is a world filled with danger. Three factions vie for control of the planet. They are the Privateers, the Raiders, and the Torvac. And you can actually see down here, once we get a view of our map, you'll be able to tell which locations we are in based on the color scheme of the map itself. Managing to survive in this harsh world where most arguments are settled with violence is key to your success. Now I won't go into too much detail about the factions of the objectives, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So this is our main navigational screen. As you can see here, we can actually jump into a camp right now if we move a slightly forward over this way. I'll actually go into the camp just to show you guys what's going on with this. So this again is our main vehicle, our MCV, something we, we don't actually control. And we control the, the uh, I guess you call them like the escort units, the part of the convoy, you know, convoy as the namesake implies. So these guys are the ones that we need to be uh, worried about the most as far as keeping them alive and afloat and good to go, because without them, we're pretty much sitting ducks. So right now, we start off with a light pulse laser on, uh, what is this guy called? Monkey 4. Kind of like that name a lot. And super, oh god, wow, that makes Monkey 4 feel really inferior right out of the gate, doesn't it? Jeez. Maybe we should rename him so he gets his own unique appeal. 9 or 8, yeah, that's probably better. I'm worried about morale, or, like, very early on here. We can't have Super Monkey compared to Monkey 4. That's just like... Why do you even have Monkey 4? He's got himself a heavy MG. Bigger version of the small MG does more damage overall. So you got all sorts of different weapons you can utilize on these guys. All sorts of upgrades you can make as far as their health, armor, handling, range, and mine guarding. Which is kind of an important one considering the amount of mine-laying enemies that we may run into uh, as things... As things progress here, I'm actually going to turn myself up here, sorry if you're getting an immediate difference. There we go. So, I'm, uh, I'm kind of partial to upgrading some systems immediately, but I may not actually do it this time. And then, uh, of course, you can make similar upgrades with your actual MCV. Unfortunately, you can't really upgrade the handling and the range. That's not really something that really would matter too much for you anyway. But what you can do is find different, uh, what I guess you would call special weapons that you can equip to the slots on the MCV. For example, right now we have an EMP blaster that's acting as our sole weapon on here, but you can find some really, really good stuff to upgrade your MCV later on. You can also pay to repair your ship, or, sorry, I'm very FTL-minded right now. <laughs> you repair your vessels, and you can also buy extra fuel if the shops have them available. Let's go ahead and leave the camp. We'll get into the actual navigational screen here and try to find our way to something. So you can click on these main objectives and it'll actually kind of point you in the direction of where you need to go and show you the distance away. So for the main objective of compression coil, we have 144 kilometers to go. 
tells us a little bit of the details about it as well. You've heard of a former Torvac employee living in the sound of town of Shady Sands. Shanty Sands, oh my god. If you manage to find him, he might have more information regarding a compression coil. We can do that. We can also uh, find the nearest camp by way of hitting that little point of interest button. It's also the spaceship Mercury. And uh, I think maybe we should probably try to find which one of these is closest. And it is indeed the compression coil. So let's go ahead and head this way. Now, as you can see, as we're moving along the map here, you actually go faster if you move along the roads. If you try to traverse the uh, the more contoured areas of the map, it uh, takes a lot longer and it does take more fuel as well. You'll notice that this number is going down as we move along. There are only so many ways to describe sand, and at this point, you've ran out of them. It's just popping up with a little, a little bit of flavor text there, I suppose. But random events will occur as you're just moving along like this. And as I was mentioning before, as you can tell, the color outline of the map of the area that we're in right now gives us an indication of the sorts of enemies that we can come to expect from those portions of the landscape. You arrive at Shanty Stands. It looks like a small agricultural community. You leave your convoy behind and head toward the town by foot. At the entrance to town, you are stopped by a man who identifies himself as Steve. It's kind of exaggerating the narrative a bit there. Welcome to Shanty Sands, stranger. I like alliteration. Ask about the... F yeah, let's just get right to the point here. Ah, that guy. He arrived at Shanty Sands not too long ago, claiming he wanted a quiet place to live. He spends most of his days indoors, but he keeps out of trouble, so we don't mind. I can show you where he lives, but it's gonna cost you. Two fifty bolts for that information. I say we threaten Steve. You draw your weapon and threaten Steve. He looks flustered and stammers. Well there, I wasn't looking for trouble, just trying to earn a few bucks. You can find him over there, just leave me alone. He points at a distant house. Thanks, I'll get out of my face. You went over to the house of the former Torvac employee. I just saved us 50 bolts. Look at my... <laughs> look at my capitalistic instincts. Go ahead and knock on the door. An unwashed man with greasy hair opens the door. His right eye appears to move erratically. You suspect it might be a cybernetic implant. What the hell do you want? Inquire about the compression coils. Yeah, I know about them. Worked on them loads when I still worked for those Torback bastards. Good luck getting them, though. They'll never hand them over. However, get to the goddamn point, man! I'd like some payback for what those bastards did to me. I know where they manufacture the compression coils. If we head over to that facility and mess it up, I'll consider it even. Afterwards, I'll be able to salvage a compression coil easily and make sure you'll be able to use it. My name's Barry, by the way. Nice to meet you, Barry. Yeah, uh, alright. Let's do it. The two of you head back to your convoy. Barry appears revitalized, eager to disperse his idea of justice. Barry enters the coordinates of the Torvac compression coil facility into your navigational computer! Alright. New objective acquired, and now... Oh boy. Whilst driving through the mostly destroyed city, a bunch of raider vehicles suddenly appear out of the nearby alleyways. You're being ambushed! Oh goodness. Alright, so... Here we have the first bout of combat. I'm actually going to go ahead and pause the game real quick just to give you guys an idea of what's going on with this. So, main combat screen, as I mentioned before. These two, right here. Super Monkey, or no, sorry, yeah, this Super Monkey and 998 or 99,000 are our two vehicles with which we can disperse damage to the enemy. So there's two main things you can do with your vehicles. You can move them around like so, and you can target and attack enemies. And you need to keep the enemies within your, uh, within your range circle here to be able to continually attack them. So what I'm gonna do to start out with is try to allow these guys to move into whatever areas they're gonna go to. We go ahead and let him start attacking this guy. I'm gonna move this guy a little bit further back. And I'm more than likely gonna be better off trying to prioritize just one individual target as opposed to, uh... Oh my god, yeah, we're already taking some seriously heavy damage here. I, I usually find that I'm much better off prioritizing one target as opposed to trying to take out two at once. But this is kind of dangerous because these guys are hitting the MCV pretty hard already. What's interesting about this is, you know, like in FTL, you would kind of try to avoid taking damage entirely if at all possible. But in Convoy, that's kind of an impossible task. It's, it's pretty much expected that you're going to take at least a little bit of damage. And, uh, you know, you just... Oh god, oh god. Run, 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 don't go, don't, 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 Ooh. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna run into that thing there. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Holy shit. Sorry. Had to freak out for a second there. So... What you saw going on there was, uh... I thought that the... 
obstruction that we're going to run into is actually going to destroy one of our vehicles. If you look at this, you can see that, like, there's buildings that will come up, come up to you and, uh, you know, pretty much wreck your shit. Y your vehicles will be destroyed instantly if you, uh, if you run into those buildings. So you, you're always moving, and you always have to be vigilant of those obstacles, so... That's kind of what makes the, uh, the, the constant rightward motion an interesting element is that, you know, you always have to account for it. Luckily, you can pause the game in FTL fashion again, like, it allows you to calculate risk and, uh, you know, act accordingly. We have taken a heavy amount of damage already here, though, holy cow. This is starting to kind of worry me. Luckily, we are looking okay as far as taking this guy out, and I think we're gonna get out of here without losing any of our crew. Yeah, looks like he's going down. There we go, we got it. You find some loot in the wreck, so we get 14 gas and 50 uh, bolts, that's not bad at all. Alright. Well. That was rough. That was definitely not the, uh, the greatest start we could have possibly asked for. We have very low health, and I actually totally forgot to use my EMP blaster that entire time, so that was my fault. My mistake there. Hopefully I won't forget to do that, uh, much more. So we probably want to head to the nearest camp at this point, because we are, uh, in dire need of some repairs. I'm gonna try to follow along the road as much as possible. I found that while this may not be a guaranteed thing, I found that, uh, a lot of the time, if I try to stick to the road, my chances of a random encounter do go down a little bit. Alright, managed to make it back. Priority number one right now, repairing our main vessel. Go ahead and get that back up to nearly full strength, that's pretty good. Get these guys back up and rolling as well. Alright, that was pretty costly. Let's see if they got anything worthwhile in the shop here. Oh, they got a heavy pulse laser, that's pretty good. And a chainsaw! A retractable weapon that adds extra damage to a ramming attack. Wow! Oh yeah, you can also ram enemies with your, uh... with your convoy crew, although that... usually ends up doing you more harm than you would like. You know, it hurts both vessels, so... Kind of a risky play, but it is available. I might just need to buy some fuel here. Kind of like to get up to maybe 75. Or maybe just 62, considering how little actually we have left right now. Uh, let's see, a shield is probably not a bad idea here. Oh, is this- oh, this is another, uh... This is another... car. It doesn't have any weapons, though. That doesn't seem like it's worthwhile at all. Yeah, I don't think I should buy that. Probably not gonna help. Better off focusing on the ones that we've got now. Maybe we could upgrade these guys. Tell you what, yeah, let's maybe try... A little bit more handling could be nice, could get them around quicker. Also making them more durable. Actually, what we should maybe focus on is the fact that the MCV kind of took a shitload of damage and we weren't really able to do anything about it. So giving it more armor. That could be pretty damn helpful. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm that upgrade. That's some good money to spend. And, uh, let's do... Let's give this guy a little bit of extra range here. Because he was kind of struggling to get it within range of the enemies. Very, very often there. Alright. Let's call that good. Go ahead and leave camp. So, a successful run here... ...is, uh, oh goodness. Privateer vehicles come streaming down the surrounding dunes. They sport guns that look remarkably mo like modified ancient cannons. We could supercharge to escape. That's... Well, that's actually not that much fuel. But I think we can take him on. It says, modified ancient cannons. That's actually kind of scary. Alright, he's coming right up into us. Might as well make him the first priority target. Ooh, this guy- Oh, I thought he was gonna get taken down. That would've been real nice. I think he got hit by something there, though. Alright, we're gonna move him back a little bit so he's still within range of this enemy. We can take one down very quickly here. I think we're gonna be in a good spot. Oh, it looks like he's gonna try to get up ahead of us and maybe lay some mines down or something, yeah. yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna have to start accounting for this guy. He's gonna- he's gonna try to lay a whole bunch of mines down. Yeah, those mines can hurt, so... We gotta start taking him down as fast as possible. You gotta move around as much as you can against these guys laying mines down all over the place. Probably gonna be better off for me if I try to, you know, like... Manipulate the, uh, the pause method a bit. Ooh, hey, here we go. We're actually doing pretty damn well here. 
pausing a lot more frequently is probably going to be a... Uh, oh, God. Ooh. Ah, he got hit by it. Oh, man. Yeah, I think I need to take advantage of pausing a little bit more. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Okay, get behind here. Oh, my God. The amount of obstacles in this area is kind of startling. Nice! Ooh, he got edged off there by that. Nice. That's extremely convenient for us. Okay, that saves us a ton of trouble. We're still in the camp, so we might as well go ahead and just repair one more time before we head off. Go ahead and get these guys up in top form. There we go, yeah, that was actually a kind of free... ...money there, basically. Alright. No longer need to go to the nearest camp, let's go ahead and uh, try to find the way to the compression coils once more. Yeah, a winning run here, as I was about to say, is, uh, is gonna be quite the endeavor. The signal appears to be coming from a massive old overgrown football stadium stood in the middle of the desolate desert. The stadium looms over you, making you feel incredibly insignificant as you look up at the massive building. The local fauna has overtaken the majority of the stadium, but it still looks stable. Upon heading inside, you see several statues of football players. Judging from their posture and size, you suspect they were local legends. Eventually, you arrive at the vomitorium on the field. Looking inside, you see the way to the center of the stadium. This is the vomitorium. It's lined with balls and jerseys on spears. It, it's kind of suggesting that I should probably leave. I'm gonna keep heading in, though. You begin smelling rotting flesh. All have rotting torsos inside them. You cringe, hold down your vomit, and keep walking toward the field. Upon reaching the middle of the field, you instantly feel a change in temperature and in general feeling. Despite standing in the middle of the field of an enormous empty stadium, you have never felt more closed in. It's as if eyes are everywhere, staring at you. Staring through you, burning you up. As you turn to leave, you see a shadow move. Chase it down! You chase the shadow throughout the stadium, barely keeping up but staying just close enough to not lose it. It leads you to a small room near the top of the stadium, lined with golden trophies and ancient pictures of various teams. The shadow you've been chasing up and down this overgrown graveyard walks into the light. It appears to be a woman standing a little shorter than six foot tall. She has long black hair, a pale complexion, and is wearing worn down combat gear. As for an explanation from Ashley Purcell, She's a treasure hunter and has been contracted by a collector to take the trophies. After explaining that this stadium is filled with primitive tribals who shoot on sight, she asks for your help. Before you have a chance to decide you are pelted with spears and arrows, she grabs the trophies and starts making a run for it, urging you to hurry up. Grab some trophies and run along. You rush after Ashley, who seems to have found a knack for navigating this place. The two of you reach your convoy, hop on board, and urge it to leave before the tribals catch up. While your convoy leaves the stadium far behind, Ashley catches her breath and begins grinning widely. Let's have a look at what we got! That's some great stuff! This will fetch a great price! Sweet! If you bring me back to my contractor so I can finish this deal, I'll dig up my old ride and join your convoy. That's cool as hell! Yeah! Alright, that's a good deal. Not bad at all, alright. Stadium trouble is gonna be a little ways away. But an additional member of our convoy, oh goodness. Fool's right for the picking. <laughs> Running into some raiders. All right, we gotta survive this one. Cause we got a real good thing going if we can manage to keep her, uh... Or, uh, keep alive long enough to benefit from a new crew member here. All right, we gotta start using our EMP. I keep forgetting about this. Yeah, the EMP blast, you can use your, uh, your hotkeys, your short keys of, uh... One, two, three, and four. And, uh, shoot off an EMP blast that, uh, quickly stuns enemies that it hits. Go, 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 go. There we go, nice. Let's go ahead and hit this one. You should be able to take him down pretty quickly so I can start making some damage go down over here. Oh, that BMV blast is ready again. Let's go ahead and stun this guy. Not taking too much damage. We're actually looking to be okay right now. Oh, that's not a good place to move, actually. Oh, God, what are you doing? Oh, man. Whew. That was close. Okay, can I still hit him from here? I can't, so let's go ahead and change targets. He's about dead anyway. There we go. Perfect. Okay, this is going pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and EMP stun this guy. So far, so good here. I, I we're looking like we're taking a lot of damage, but really, this overall... This is not a bad situation. Except he is... beating the hell out of, uh, Super Monkey here. Or is this 9 or 8? Yeah, this is 9 or 8. Managed to live, though. Got some good loot out of that as well. Alright, well... Can't ask for too much more than that, I guess. Well, I could, but that'd be a little greedy. You come across a raider outpost, they attempt to radio you. Okay. It's a mighty fine-looking convoy you got there. How about you transport some of our wares for us? Uh, I feel like if I say I'm not interested, they'll just try to attack me. What can we... Don't ask damn questions, kind. Are you interested or not? 
You know what? I think we've already got plenty on our table. I'll be listening to some damn firepower. Uh, try to outrace them. They managed to get a shot on one of your vehicles. Uh, keep going. Okay, we got away. I was I was kind of hoping not to fight there. But my my gut instinct was correct in that they were <laughs> they were ready to take us down if we didn't agree to their agree to their summons. I'll go ahead and repair here now that we've got the opportunity. I like the idea of getting pretty much up to full health every time we can do this. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's nothing available in this shop. So just buy a little bit of fuel, and we'll call that good. Okay. Things are looking a little better now. Raiders appear to uh, from hiding places along the way and try to engage. Let's supercharge. Not even supercharging your engines was enough to escape. Oh! That's an unfortunate waste of some fuel there. We did just heal up, so we should be all right. Let's target this guy. We're going to go ahead and EMP blast that one in the far end. Maybe keep him from getting in range to attack very fast. I might need to give this guy a little bit more armor here, apparently. Maybe even some more health, because he is just getting blasted down. All right, he's trying to get out of range, but no dice for you, buddy. You is dead. You is dead, though. Another EMP blast. Deadzo is a is a word that the kids are saying these days, I'm pretty sure. Look, man, don't ask me to improve my jargon. I'm already too old for that. It's not true at all. <laughs> Take him down. Come on now. I really do think we're gonna be okay here. We're taking some damage, but Oh my god, nine or eight is just Oh, he's out of range. Shit. Okay, we gotta switch our target here, I guess. He is just like the meat the meat shield for everyone. See, this is what happens when we split up our targeting. It's like, we both take a ton of damage at the cost of... Or like, we, we, we have negative side effects and no real benefit. Does not do us a ton of good to try to split up the targeting. Alright, there we go, we got it. We might have to go back and heal again, holy cow. We got quite a bit of loot out of that, at least. We made up the difference of the, uh... Difference of the gas that we spent to try to outrun them. Yeah, we definitely need to heal after that one. That is brutal. There we go. Okay. Lots of scrap spent, but we're not dying. And that's what's important. I definitely want to try my damnedest to complete the Stadium Troubles objective and get this extra member of our convoy, because that extra firepower is going to be a godsend. Almost there. Oh, goodness. The desolate city seems eerily quiet. Tell you what, I'm going to supercharge out of here. Great! Hooray! Didn't have to deal with anything. Upon reaching these coordinates, Ashley assures you she'll be right back. After quite some time, a vehicle races up to your convoy and comes to a screeching halt. Let's go! Welcome aboard! Alright, we got Ashley. Nice! That's fantastic. And we're kind of near the compression coil. We actually passed it by. We probably could have done this on the way there. Whoops. Oh well. We got it now. Up to the Torvac. It probably would have been... It's it's better that we have the extra crew member now. You arrive at the Torvac Compression Coil Facility. This is the place, all right, Barry claims. Time to radio the facility? Let's talk to Barry first. Here's the plan. If you head out to attack them now as a distraction, I'll sneak behind the facility whilst they're distracted and sabotage the production line, causing the whole thing to go up in flames. That should make the fight considerably easier. That sounds terrible. I'll radio the base instead. We understand you have the man named Barry amongst you. We demand custody of him. We shall trade you a compression coil. Yeah, that sounds good. What the hell, man? Barry exclaims as you can't cuff him and him over the door back. Oh, it's so much easier. It's so much easier. I'm sorry, Barry. I'm sorry, man. We had to do it. For the good of the objectives. You understand. We're basically computers. We share no human emotions or traits with you. The desert sun burns away with no respite. The temperature gauges of engines are rapidly rising. Cool the engines for 10 bolts. That seems like a valid option. Your, your engine temperatures have returned to normal without causing any damage. Thank God. I'm glad we have the extra goodies to, uh, to avoid this, this terrible, terrible situation. Looks like there's a pretty damn heavy Torvac influence over in this area. I want to be kind of mindful of that. Found our way. Whilst driving through the desert, you spot what seems to be a Torvac mobile science station. Unsurprisingly, it is protected by a large number of Torvac combat vehicles. They are adapting an offensive formation, daring you to approach. Ooh. 
I don't know, man. I feel like, you know what? With Look out. Ashley is, oh my god, she's decked out. What did I do here? Oh, shit. I don't know what I did with this. I don't know what that light does. <laughs> uh, all right. Leave him be. The Torvac combat vehicles don't seem interested in pursuing your convoy. You safely drive off. Oh, cool. Well, that wasn't even where we needed to go. All right, so let's go, go for this then. Judging from the tracks of destruction left in the wake of numerous vehicles, you can only assume you are near the James Fay Warband. Warband. The only upside to the Warband is that it moves quite slowly, giving you ample time to catch up. If you have more preparations to do, now is the time. Ooh. Can I do this now? I don't know. We do have three vehicles, but not a lot of firepower. We probably want to come back later for this. Let's try out something else here. Let's try maybe getting the multicellulose enthused ethanol, or maybe the sonic screws. They're both very far away. Hmm. I don't know. Let's maybe uh, wander around a little bit, see if we can't find some more valuable things. This particular bulletin is going to take a little while. Judging from the tracks of destruction left in the wake of numerous vehicles, you can only assume you are near James Fay Warband. Oh, right. No, this is the Warband again. Oh, it's just moving. I see. Okay. Wait, so this is... Oh, it's taking me to the chip. Right, so... You see a dust cloud in the distance. You hear shots fired. Oh, let's go ahead and prepare for battle. Ooh! That one looks menacing. Oh, look at Ashley. Oh, my God. Look at Ashley. What's with the... Oh, that's like a... Oh, shit. That's like a missile launcher there. All right. Oh, God. We got to take this guy out first. We don't want to let the mines lay down. That's going to be a problem. We can allow that target to continue to go through. Oh, shit. There's four vehicles in this area. Oh, my God. Ashley is a beast. Holy shit. Look how strong she is. Wow. All right. Run, 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 go. What is, what is going on with those exclamation points? I have no idea. That is interesting. Oh, we should move. We should definitely move. Look how quick she goes. Oh my god, Ashley is magnificent. Can Ashley just carry us to victory here? I wonder. I gotta use my EMP blast again. Okay. Up to this. Moving forward. Keep these guys in range. There we go. Wow. Oh my god, I really like having Ashley. Holy Jesus. She is so much stronger than us. I feel insignificant. We're doing so little to help the cause here now. All right, there they go. Taken down. Get the loot and we're good. Shit, you know what? We might actually be able to do this with Ashley. Fuck it, let's go. She's strong enough. I wish I'd done this before. Let's go. Let's rock. Taken down. Okay. We're going to do this smart though. We're going to we're going to make sure I uh Make sure I prioritize targets accordingly. Go ahead and EMP him first, and then uh, make this movement a little bit easier for you. Yeah, we can take these guys down actually pretty damn quick here. Yeah, there goes one. Okay, so one target down. They're doing a little bit of damage to the MCV, but... I think we're going to be alright here. Oh, I actually took some damage for that explosion, too. That's something I gotta look out a little bit more frequently for. Wow. Oh my god, I like my odds of success here way more than I have in the past. Alright, that one, target's gonna be going down. I'm gonna go ahead and move you back here and start targeting this one here. There it goes. Move out a little bit of the way. Nice. Oh, I still took the damage from that. That's okay, though. If I move back now, there we go. Moving right into position there. This is gonna work. CMP blast this guy. One more down. Alright. Target it up. I'm gonna move you up here. I think we're going to get through this. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. We got to take him down fast. Hopefully, we don't run into this stuff. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yes. You successfully defeated the first wave of attackers. We got it. Oh, boy. Before you have any chance to recuperate, more Raider vehicles move aggressively toward you. Engage. Oh, it's going to be tough. Oh, shit. What the hell? Oh, no. There's mines in the way. All right. Out of the way here. We go ahead and EM. Oh, a little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Let's see. Target number one is probably going to be... Uh, let's go ahead and EMP blast you first. Oh, shit. Oh, our MCV is getting hurt a lot. This isn't good. Oh, I might be in a pickle here. The MCV gets targeted more. I might be boned. All right, they're all targeting this guy. 
I gotta get Ashley out of the way. Actually, Ashley might have to face tank some of this damage here. Ooh, I might need to prioritize the guys that are targeting the MCV. Go ahead and maybe let Ash- Oh god, the MCV's going down, isn't it? Yeah, they're gonna take me out. Oh shit. Man! Wow. That stinks. Well, not a bad first attempt, I don't think. Collected some good scrap out of that one, got a good enemy kill, but... Overall, we did fail. See, that's the, uh... That's the, uh, element of strategy you gotta impose there, but... All the same, thanks so much for watching the first episode of Convoy, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, let me know if you want to see more of this game. Thanks for watching! We'll see you next time.